Hello, military and aerospace enthusiasts. Welcome to our channel, Deep Dive Defense. Over here we take a deep look from unusual angles, which may challenge your mind. So let's dive right in. Today's topic is Iran's Shahed-101 long-range miniature one-way attack drone, designed for striking targets protected by air defense systems. The Shahed-101 story began in mid-2021, when this then-unknown weapon successfully hit the U.S. base in Erbil, Iraq. A malfunctioning sample was captured and displayed, revealing design details that pointed to its origins in Iran, specifically with the IRGC Aerospace Force. Approximately a year later, U.S. sources identified it by name as the Shahed-101. The drone has since been frequently used for strikes against U.S. assets in Iraq and Syria. The overall concept and the motivation for the creation of small one-way attack drones came from the secretive Israeli Hermes 200 drone, which was a small very low radar cross-section variant of the Hermes 180. When it was used to spy on Iran in the mid-2000s, Iran captured it and copied it under the name Shahed-123. The small size and composite structures made its detection very difficult. The Shahed-101 capitalized on its even smaller size to create a one-way attack drone with a very small radar cross-section. Extensive use of carbon fiber, which has some radar-absorbing properties at higher frequencies like the X-band, further reduces its detectability. Unlike the more advanced Shahed-136, the Shahed-101 lacks sophisticated low-observable shaping techniques, indicating its role as a more expendable asset in Iran's one-way attack drone arsenal. It is powered by a single-cylinder piston engine driving a push propeller. To achieve long reach and flight efficiency, the drone features long high aspect ratio wings. To enhance its penetration capability while keeping costs low, a terrain masking flight path was employed. This involves flying at low altitudes and speeds to utilize terrain features for remaining in the radar shadow. This makes detection by ground sensors more difficult until the drone comes within line of sight at a late stage. The Shahed-101 was the first Iranian drone to feature an X-shaped tail steering fin layout, which enhances stability against low-altitude wind gusts. This configuration has been previously used by Israeli loitering munitions and one-way attack drones like the Sky Striker for similar low-level flight operations. With its efficient aerodynamic design and propulsion system, the Shahed-101 can achieve a range of 600 km at a low speed of 120 km per hour. It carries an 8kg warhead, combining a fragmentation belt with a shaped charge for penetrating hardened targets and causing damage due to fragmentation. For its navigation, the Shahed-101 uses satellite navigation, like other Iranian one-way attack drones, such as the Shahed-136. This approach lowers costs and avoids the need for a sensor system with a data link, which would increase weight and expense. To enhance robustness against jamming and spoofing, the Shahed-101 employs a two-antenna CRPA system, which can, to a limited extent, avoid the direction of jamming and receive the true signal from the satellite. However, the small size of the drone limits this system to just two antennas, resulting in significantly lower nulling performance compared to the four or five antenna designs seen on other Iranian systems. Nonetheless, this measure considerably improves the robustness of its navigation system against interference. The small and compact size of the Shahed-101 allows for easy transportation, with its wings and fins only needing to be installed when the drone is placed on a pedestal for flight preparation. A JADO takeoff, using a small rocket motor enables it to be launched from virtually anywhere, including being discreetly transported in a civilian car. This makes it an ideal tool for asymmetric and attrition warfare, as it is very difficult to detect or trace. Since its unveiling, several modifications and variants of the Shahed-101 have emerged. One variant features an imaging seeker system and a small radio data link, enabling it to function as loitering munition. Another variant is an upscaled version, the Shahed-107, separately discussed in other contexts. The latest variant of the Shahed-101 is a once again upscaled variant, similar to the Mirage 532 drone of the IRGC ground force, but clearly different and belonging to the Shahed-101 family. It has a 5-antenna CRPA system for more jamming-resistant navigation and shows that the family is made of several modular variants. Larger variants are either longer-ranged or carry heavier warheads for missions requiring more destructive power. In guerrilla and attrition warfare, 
the Shahed 101 becomes effective by keeping adversary defenses on high alert, forcing them to maintain their efforts and resources constantly 24-7. Despite its small warhead, a sudden attack by this 600-kilometer range one-way attack drone can have devastating results, compelling the adversary to continuously maintain their defensive posture. This tactic was employed not only against U.S. forces in Iraq and Syria, but also by Iraqi militias allied to Iran against Israel during the Israel-Gaza conflict beginning in 2023. Sporadic attacks by Shahed 101s from Iraq, although seldom successful, forced Israeli defenses to expend resources to remain alert and perform interceptions. The design of the Shahed 101 clearly aims at being low-cost and quickly producible, while still boasting a considerable standoff range of 600 kilometers. This allows for either a distant concealed launch location or a long loitering time if using the loitering munition variant. However, this impressive kinematic performance comes with the drawback of a noticeable acoustic signature at low altitudes and the thermal signature emitted by its piston engine. Despite this, adversaries facing the Shahed 101 do not always have airborne assets equipped with sensors to detect it effectively at all times. While the primary role of the Shahed 101 has been for guerrilla warfare and asymmetric use by Iran's regional allies, it is expected to serve as a strike component in a kill chain alongside the larger Shahed 107. In this role, it forms the expendable munition element intended to provide persistent strike capability deep behind enemy lines, which is a topic for another discussion. The extent of the Shahed 101's operational fielding within the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps is not fully known. It may be a special purpose weapon, with other types of one-way attack drones being preferred, or it might already be in widespread production and service. What is clear is that it's among the most effective and cost-efficient designs for a loitering munition and one-way attack drone known. So that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video and like our work, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. We will try our best to answer your comments. Your support would be greatly appreciated and motivates to produce more content in the future. Thank you, and have a great day.